Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town, where in the last episode we set up a little bit of a cloth um, manufacturer down here so that we could have cloth conveyor belts and also upgrade our base. Now to upgrade our base the next time we're going to need lots of iron plates. Hmm. Now that is something that we may touch on in this episode, but our focus is going to be the general store. For the most part, the market is doing well. It could be improved, and generally speaking, I want to try and keep on top of doing that. We certainly have the means to, with the kitchen, we could make bread, for example, we could make fruit juice, for example, and these things would be much, much better at generating happiness. But uh, we're gonna focus on the humble, well, maybe not that humble, uh, general store instead for this episode. So let's uh, just move this along. I think having the general store on this uh, accessible on this side would be a little bit better for us. Now, by and large, cloth conveyor belts are more important to me in my storage than they are being sold to the general uh, shop, but they would be perfect. They they have a, uh, as far as gadgets go, they have an impact of uh, level four, tier four, which is what we want. If we have a look at how much they satisfy though, let's go and have a look, 60%. Now we could make an iron wheel, but that would require a machine shop. That would take a lot longer to get to. Um, and they would re they would give me the same overall amount. Currently our wood wheels don't even come close. So we're going to be selling some cloth conveyor belts. Now, what we can start doing at this point with the conveyor belts that we have, we can start creating um, splits, which would be very, very useful, as I'm sure you, you can imagine. Uh, we're going to have our cloth conveyor warehouse up here, I think. All right, let's uh, go ahead and find a better uh, area for this. We're going to attach that one to number two, I think. We will attach... Well, actually, why don't we just set this up as it's set up in the uh, in the build menu. Actually, we'll have that one on. Oop. What I want is the roads one and two, then the chutes, and then the conveyors. There we are. So we want to deliver conveyors up to the barn, but we can split it using a logistics block. So it'll evenly sell and store until the, the storage is uh, is over full. And that sounds fine to me. Uh, let's pop that there. And then I would like a conveyor belt that delivers a conveyor belt down here, and then they'll start heading out in that direction. Uh, the way we can do this, go to logistics, grab splitter, and there we go, all done and done. Uh, right, now that is not exactly the best spot, I'll be honest. Uh, if we pop that there and then move this down, we can rotate it nicely, there we go. And then we can further add in a logistics blo uh, logistic block grabber to pull the conveyor belt out of there, there we go, as you can see, and that will then split in the directions that it needs to go. You are now surplus to demand, so let's get you over here and we'll reassign you uh, in a little bit. Now, cloth conveyor belts, they take a, a while for us to currently produce, which is a bit of a problem, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, it would be much better, for obvious reasons, if we could produce them much, much faster, but we can't, so we're just gonna have to live with what we've got for now. Uh, right, let's grab the conveyor belts. Oops, that's not correct. There we go. And I would like these to, uh, sure, we'll deliver them into the side there. Now, once that gets down, that should make us a cool 10 red coins. Let's have a watch of that. Bump, there we go. And gadgets has taken a big old jump. Uh, right, okay, so the next thing that we're going to want to make sure of is that we are storing, in much the same way, cloth in a barn or also in a workshop. But given that we can use cloth for a couple of things, well, and we're, we're definitely also hitting the uh, maximum output, I think we're gonna have a second cloth workshop here uh, to that end. I, though I don't think we realistically need to plant the cotton for this, I just feel like it. Um, we will also add that in there. And finally, just to make this a little bit prettier over here. There we go. Pop that one down as well. There we are, a lovely road for our carts to use. There we are, you can be nice and fast running down there. What on earth are you doing? Oh, right, you're delivering, ha ha ha, no. No, you are not. 
that is no longer required. We are going to have you um, head over and station there. We no longer need to deliver wooden wagon wheels as our um, gizmo of choice, uh, since we should, well, honestly, we probably should be delivering them a little bit faster down here. Maybe we can work on that, since that is genuinely going to be an important um, production chain for us. Still, uh, I would like this barn to accept our production of... Ooh, can I not place it there? Oh, we're on a bit of a bit of a lip there. Uh, I would like the barn to accept cloth. But I would like it to accept the cloth as a split delivery. So a barn accepting cloth and then some of the cloth being sent to the workshop and some of it being sent to my... Uh, t-shirt manufacturing however I want to prioritize the barn since cloth is a building resource I think it would make sense for us to have that always on hand so the way that we're going to do this is we could have two workshops delivering it out past the barn and then to a workshop yeah that seems to make sense for me, actually. Uh, let's... Oh, we don't want to clone it. We want to actually move it wholesale. Uh, let's pop you... About here would do, I would say. Somewhere like that. Since we're not actually going to be taking the cloth out of this barn, it is only there for the production of... Uh, for building reasons, we should be good. If I place this down here, we can set up a t-shirt manufacturing. We'll copy this one whole. Place that one down. Uh, I didn't hold down control correctly. My bad. Uh, right, we want cloth to be made. And we would like it delivered via shoot. There we go. I am not going to need you to deliver anything any further. Let's uh, have you just deliver here for now. Let's get that all the way down there. And while all that's going on, we can draw out this road a little bit better so that our wagon wheels are delivered a little bit faster. Right, there we go. So both of these should be stockpiling at this point. Now, with that done, we can get rid of these roads in front since we are no longer going to be using roads as our main uh, method of moving things around. We're going to be slowly phasing out wagons in a fairly, fairly big way, actually. Uh, by and large, wagons are... Strictly inferior. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, wagons, but it's true. Uh, I will modify this terrain slightly, if I can. Right there, no. Dread. Well, okay, uh, that isn't the best, but we can we can still work with it. Uh, let's gra grab the arches, and we can have an arch there, followed by a little ramp, bringing the conveyor belt down here. There we go. Now, I would like this to push in there as a priority. The way we'll do this is we'll get a pusher. Now, a pusher will force something in only if it has room. So that's why we're keeping this belt facing this direction. Uh, at that point, I would like the, the, the belt here to split and deliver its produce, uh, or rather its resources, in a different direction. There we go. Oops, that is a bit of a mistake. To that that would cause a bit of a problem for me. Oh, this one is trying to steal my cloth for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I don't approve of it, though. There we go. That's a little bit better. Perfect. Right, we will have a splitter here, so that it's an even split. And then with that, we will have this cloth conveyor belt lead it back up to our factory over here. It's going to take us a little while, but uh, it, it does look awkward. I know, I know. Still, it should work. Uh, let's grab the grabber. But um, There we are. T-shirts are being delivered. Marvellous. Can you actually get around there? Why are you coming this way? I do not know. Oh wow, that is a that is a 
pretty interesting path you've taken there, Meteo. My lord. Now, it's going to take us a while to generate enough uh, resources here to have that go in the... Uh, to finish off that line. Still, it should be fine. We can get rid of that gravel. We don't strictly need it there anymore. And we can flesh out this little path there. We are still going to be bringing the, the wagon wheels over as is. But by and large, we're doing okay. Look at that. Clothing is going very nicely indeed. And we are starting to stockpile large amounts of red coins. I'm reasonably happy with this. Now, as far as my cloth conveyors, yeah, that's going to take a while. Okay, well, while that's all going on, we can possibly look to... Well, I could, in fact, prioritize storing them. Well, yeah, I'm going to say that we do actually need that to be prioritized. I need the, the paths more than I need um, money right now. So let's push it up there if we can. And at this point, I, I'm going to require that uh, the cloth is brought into the workshop manually for the time being. It's a bit of a, a rough setup, but it'll, it'll, it should be okay. Uh, this workshop is getting the lion's share of the cotton. That's not strictly the best setup since uh, we could be eking out a little bit more since this one's basically backlogged. We can go ahead and place down a splitter right there and just force it to share them out evenly. I think that would be a bit of a better setup for us there. There we go. Okay, how is research going? We're actually very, very close to getting the um, fishing boat done. That would probably be a better method of delivering items up this river from this side, rather than bridging it, just, just sailing it across. I would have to remove the stones in the water there, which I don't strictly want to do, but um, it may be worth it in the long run. For the time being, though, I think we want to enhance our production of uh, cloth conveyors by getting the uh, workshop built over here to make the, the uh, wooden wheels that we need. How would, what would be the best way of us doing this though? If we were to remove the need to transport the blocks, then we could actually shrink this little area down quite a lot. So yeah, okay, we're gonna get rid of some of the blocks that we just placed and place down a workshop right here. There we go. Wooden wheels will need to be conveyed with a cloth conveyor, alas. Uh, how many of these have I got? I've got one. No, I've got 16. Ha ha! Marvellous. I approve. There we go. That's all I needed. You can now, uh, well, actually be deleted because you're stuck in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. Uh, right, we're going to want you making wooden wheels. We just need two planks for that. Now, the thing is, planks actually take a lot more work than I initially gave them credit uh, in terms of the speed that I'm getting the resources to them. So, I'm thinking the best way to set this up would be to have the uh, wood, uh, the the lumber mill over here, but shooting the wood through the trees here. So I am going to remove some of this terrain along there. There we go. We can set up a lumber mill. Just copy that right there, and we can have that one nicely situated right here. There we go. All I want from you is planks and for those to be delivered direct to the workshop there. So let's pop these down. Nice and tidy. And then bring that along. Perfect. Right, on this side now, we can place down our forest trees. And uh, notice that this one is pretty much out. This is a little bit of a problem for us, I'll be honest. Now... This has got 83 uh, potential trees to chop, which is actually quite a lot. If we have a look in there, it'll produce one log every two seconds. This will use two logs every three seconds. So realistically speaking, needs the output from two to hit maximum capacity. If I were to build this up here, we would probably be able to get something 
close to that. There we are. Now this is going to use up my my gold coins fairly fast, so we need to bear that in mind and consider that another reason to uh, try and upgrade our uh, kitchens as fast as we can so we're getting more money for what we're selling. If we have a look at our yellow coins now, I believe there is uh, an actual um, uh, graph here that we can watch to see how fast we're losing coins. We are actually losing six right now. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. Um, oh no, actually we're, tr we're trending upwards it seems. Okay, well that's good to see. We'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, for the time being though, that's, uh, that's not too bad. But there we go. Everything should now be working uh, fine. We'll have the wagons go ahead and linger over here. We don't need you delivering anymore. Oh, there we go, fishing boats. Now, question is, are there any other types of boats? We've also got some stone over there that I could deliver. Well, I'd need a stone mason. I could build a stone mason here, though. Ooh, that's an interesting prospect. Rather than have to deliver it all the way down here. Um, sure, actually, I think that's possibly a much better idea. Uh, let's have you go and linger there, then. Uh, we are... No longer really doing anything with the with the wooden wagon wheels, so I guess for time being we can start stocking them in the base, but realistically we probably shouldn't. Uh, we will move the shirts across, probably want to move the cloth across as well, and deliver that in there, just to get it out of the way. And finally we want to get rid of that grain, and just go ahead and uh, deliver it to the grain mill. There we go, we'll just clear out the base and try and keep it a, a little bit cleaner. Right, we will want a mason's workshop down here then. Uh, we could just kind of tuck you in there without too much issue. There we go, quite nice. Uh, we'll set you to produce stone bricks. We are going to need a few people to help with this. Um, we're doing fine for stone bricks right now. So let's grab four of you. I would like you all to help out over here. Now, with this, we are going to need to deliver... It's going to be a bit of a squirrely spider's web of conveyor belt, and I do apologize for that, because even my love of, uh, of spaghetti does have its limits. And I fear this is going to be pushing those. There we go. And that way... We can bring it down on this side. There we go. One, two. And then up we go. And over all of these. There we are. That isn't too bad, actually. And now we just need the cloth conveyors. And fortunately, uh, we'll kind of get in the way of people walking around that side. They're just going to have to hopefully not, basically. <laughs> there we are. And that should take care of all of that. So we will have cloth conveyors being stored automatically. We have already basically used all the shirts that we, we, we need for the time being. Again, we can make better ones, but uh, for now, that seems to be good enough for uh, our people's clothing, if nothing else. Uh, right, so next up, we could look at going for nails or iron plates. Iron plates will make a little bit more. I'm not exactly certain which is the better building for this, though. Let's have a quick look at the forge. If we place that down, let's have a look at what is needed for this. We need twice as much iron ore to make an iron plate. Whereas nails will, for the most part, satisfy the same desire. Yeah, just for one less coin. Half as much ore for one less coin. I think it's going to be nails that we're making there. Now then, nails are going to be useful in a lot of other ways as well. But my main concern here is just to deliver this direct to the general store. So, given that, we've got this nice little area over here. I am going to do a little bit of terraforming just to make this work. But it will be minimal if I can manage it. Let's uh, flatten the train down. I want to flatten this little nook. There we go. Uh, that is good enough, I would say. 
what we could do with this is have well that's a little bit close actually what we will do instead is we will actually build out a, a little little pier but instead of using wooden support because i feel this is going to look ah uh, wait i think the building may struggle to build if i i do this we'll we'll, we'll for science it for the sake of it um let's get the support up and like so then we're going to want wooden arches uh, sorry stone arches there 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 uh, can i get anything there i don't think so the train is far too steep very well uh, we will get stone blocks to build up the locations where the train is just too steep for us to manage and build this out then with just full-on stone blocks actually why not do something like this instead that actually looks quite nice i think and we will use stone arches to bridge that little gap there there we go maybe just in the can i ah oh, that looks perfect wonderful right can we build the forge over here can we move you into position it may not allow me what do you mean can't build on uneven oh right okay uh i see well that was a bit of an oversight then uh i didn't build this out enough i i honestly didn't notice that so i'm going to just go ahead and uh flatten that terrain uh by doing this Unfortunately, going to have to get rid of these first, though, as they are constructions in the way. Uh, once again, a little bit vexing, but uh, I'm sure I can live with it. And there we are. And, oops, that was not the way I meant to do it. I meant to build those out on this side, but just to have that one flat. There we go. Can we now move? View. Ah, there we are. I popped it over here. I thought for a moment I'd deleted it in frustration, but no. No, all is well. Right, there we go. So we've got a little uh, little forge built out on the water, and I actually quite like the look of that. Right, we want this to be producing nails, and only nails. It is going to cost me one yellow coin to do. It's a bit painful, but uh, it's something we can, we can live with. Now, to build a silo, I believe we need iron plates. Yeah, it's unfortunate, that. Um, we can... A crate doesn't allow for much storage, whereas a silo allows for significant storage of ores. But I'm going to use a crate. Now, the reason why I want to use a crate here, I, well, yes, we can still use a chute. A crate is going to let my uh, my workers ex extract and store in it a little bit better than a chute would. Let's grab three. Get them harvesting. There we go. This crate is literally there just to store iron ore and only iron ore and then we're going to have a logistics block it no longer costs anything to have logistics blocks uh so it makes all the sense in the world to do it like that uh, so that'll just feed in now we've got a backlog of wood over here i see no reason not to make use of this um now what we could do then is just have a, a little a little just squeak through over here we'll we'll chop down a couple of trees look it's a forest there it makes sense that they clear the trees if they needed to there we go and we'll have this just kind of output these logs on this side there we go now we can't have this rise because a, a conveyor does, uh, sorry a shoot can't rise for obvious reasons um it's all gravity fed uh, you well you can if you've built up speed again because it's gravity fed but uh, it does cause some issues so what we will do instead is we are going to at this point switch to having a shoot um a conveyor belt that'll that'll rise it up onto another shoot i think that should be fine for now what we can do here uh, i believe is this going up? It is still going up another level, so we want to account for that. And just bring that across. There we go. And I think we'll 
we could build up a little bit of uh, a ramp here and just have that little bit of extra speed and I don't see much of a reason not to, frankly. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. In that case, we want these. And for this to be a down ramp here. There we go. That will work. Right, so once we get up to this point, we want this to be a chute. And for the chute to deliver the wood straight into the side of this building, if we can. Let's uh, set that up. There will be a turn here, so as a result, it'll slow down a little bit. But honestly, I think it'll be quite cool to have that little little ramp there. Right, let's have a conveyor. Two, three. Now, the conveyors are slower than the chutes. By far, actually. And there we are. The uh, wood will provide the fuel that we need to make the nails there. Okay, and with that, we can have the nails delivered all the way down to the general store. Now, as I do actually want the, the nails just coming straight out of the doorway, we can do a, a few little little things to accommodate that. Um, we're going to do something like this. All the way along until we get to here, and then we're going to support it fully with uh, arches. Uh, if we jump across here, there we are. Arches across the top, and little arches on all of these uh, stilts, and then solid blocks wherever I haven't got them. Purely for aesthetics, you don't need to do it like this at all. I just like making it look like there, there are actual like uh, bridges there. And nails, I'm fairly certain can't be shooting. Yeah, unfortunate, but oh well. That's fine. How many of these have we got? We've got one. No, we've got 84. Oh, that was a bit worrying. There we go. Nails should be delivered directly into the side of the general store. So that will cover our... Well, gadgets will, will get better once our barn is full. It's going to take a very long time to get that full. Painful. Um... For now, I'm thinking of disabling these. We'll just store 100 for now. Uh, but the nails will very happily rise this up, yes, and, and we'll provide all the nails we need there. That is fantastic. The crate, by the way, can only store 20 of something, but it, it does provide a nice little buffer, I find. So there we go. We've got materials all the way up to max. Clothing one less than max gadgets uh once we have finished supplying this barn we'll get a little bit better uh is it wooden wheels really wooden wheels are holding us back right of course yes unfortunately yeah okay um we're producing two logs every four seconds yeah we could add another lumber mill but that would drain the the wood that we're using as fuel for the forge unfortunately uh, that being said, it may be worth our investment just to have the workshop here outputting constantly. Well, mind you, it's not that far off. So at best, we're getting one conveyor belt probably every 5.5 seconds at the moment. It It's enough, I think, for now. We, we'll look to improve that later on. What we can do now, though, is have a look over here. Now, a wood axe... What is required for a wood axe? I believe that is still made in a workshop, so let's have a look. A wood axe requires one plank, one iron plate, and eight seconds. All right, and that's 60% uh, of tools. Okay. Well, again, we're, we've got our forge over here. I could have this produce iron plates if I wanted to, but it would slow down the production of nails. That being said, our production of nails does not seem to need it. So, hmm... Well then, still, I think it probably would be nicer to have uh, the production of the, the tools over on this side. In fact, uh, we could later upgrade that to pickaxes fairly easily if we have our own little production facility for it. Uh, to show you what pickaxes require, they require reinforced planks. Now, reinforced planks are made over here out of nails plates and planks so that is actually quite a large investment but it does make an awful lot of money 30 red coins and it can go all the way to tier 5 uh, for the time that being though we'll we'll just focus on the on the wood axe 
So, we're going to want... How are we doing for red coins? Is that still going up nicely? Hmm. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned at the speed that we're, we're gaining that. I think we might actually want to improve our income of, of gold coins before I put down another lump, um, forester. Uh, is there anywhere with easy access to coal and iron on the map that isn't very far away? Well, I mean, technically, over here, actually. That is far away, though. Mm. No, I think... I think we will have to look at upgrading our food production then instead. Uh, there is an easy way that we can do that, is by having a kitchen here to turn this into fruit juice. That would be one big upgrade. Uh, if we have a look over here, fruit juice will get us um, three times as much as we're getting from the berries. That's a nice upgrade there. Uh, jam would require fuel, unfortunately. That being said, what else would it require? If anything. Yeah, sugar. Mm, I mean, we are actually overproducing sugar. That... Does jam also provide some level of gourmet? No, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I'm not sure, given that that requires four. For that upgrade, I mean, it doubles it, but no, I don't think we're going to go for that one. I think instead we're going to aim for fruit juice as our first upgraded item over here. Uh, so, firstly, we're going to break that chain. I'm going to set this one up to accept fruit juice. There we go. And allow it. There we are. Now, fruit juice will almost certainly not roll. So, we're going to have to deal with that. But first and foremost, uh, we just want a kitchen. And unfortunately, this tomato does need to move because it's just in a very inconvenient spot there for me. There we go. And we'll get you making fruit juice. There we are. That will not take much at all. And we can go ahead and deliver that just like that in a nice, convenient little spot there. Okay, so with that being delivered, uh, I'm going to allow you to work your way through all of the berries uh, for the time. Well, actually, no, there's, strictly speaking, no reason to do that. Just grab the fruit juice and bring it over. Drop off any berries you have to switch to fruit juice. And the berries are all going to be removed. There we go. We don't need those berries. There we are. That will work nicely. And we will start getting a nice old uh, influx of... Uh, happiness and more money from that. Now, meat we're already taken care of. Dairy we are more or less taken care of, but butter would be better and would require only... Uh, no, I, I, we already decided that the, the amount of infrastructure I'd have to build in to get butter isn't really going to be a benefit to us. But bread would be a huge upgrade on flour. And that would require how much flour? How much flour in bread? Two flour to make bread. Well, that isn't awful. Um, we could make this happen. All right. Uh, I think, yes, we're going to go for that. And we're going to go for it whilst also getting rid of the sugar deliveries. Could you please deliver? Just drop the sugar off in there for now. Just as soon as you can. Now, the reason why I'm going to have to do it whilst getting rid of the sugar deliveries is I'm going to need the room for a kitchen to be placed over here. So let's rotate that around. Flour is going to stop being accumulated in there. Uh, the sugar deliveries themselves can be delivered via, uh, or rather, straight to the... Oops, that is the wrong thing that I rotated. Uh, they can be delivered straight into the food market if I want to. And I'm... Oh, okay with that, actually. Uh, let's get rid of these two over here. Uh, right, I'm going to have to get rid of the resources first. There we go. And then we can get rid of those. Perfect. And we'll replant the sugar as well. There we are. Right. So, given the sugar can't be uh, moved around via wagon, we can just deliver it like this without too much issue. Um, Sure, we'll just take it, well, 
we'll take it in a straight line there. There we go. Really would love it if you could finish that off. Uh, honestly, if we're delivering it like this, we don't need the sugar being stored over here. So I'm going to say that uh, you two are going to need to stand there for a moment and drop it off. That way I can get rid of all of this in one go. Right, you can move over there, you can move over there as well. And that is our sugar being automated. Okay, so we want another kitchen then. This kitchen is going to require a fuel source. So let's set you up. Bread, please. There we go. And we can just shoot this in. There we go. Now, as we've got coal over here, we could go ahead and build another uh, crate. I see no reason not to. We'll just store that in there. And we'll draw the coal out. And then split it. Ah, wait. I'm not going to be able to split the coal in that location because you can't have logistics blocks on the same tile. So I'll need a grabber and then I'll need a splitter right about there. There we go. And that should take care of that for me. There we are. Now, getting the coal all the way across to this isn't actually going to be a problem at all. All we need for that is two ramps effectively. And as I do like to try and avoid making it look too cluttered, we'll actually take it up even higher up to this level as well. That should still allow me to inject the coal into the side of the building there, but without making it look like uh, anything is, is smacking its head on my, uh, my scaffolding there. There we are. And with that, the bread can be delivered straight down and across. Perfect. And as you can imagine, we don't need this wagon delivering any more flour. So we'll just drop that off. There we are. And you can go and sit down there. Uh, this one doesn't need to be delivering the fruit juice either. Because for all intents and purposes, we are at this point. Uh, we don't even need this barn, really. I'm going to... Well, maybe I will allow some wagons to move this fruit juice for now. Go ahead and grab all of that for me. But the sugar and the flour can just go away. There we are. We've got quite a lot of fruit juice in there. and We're not making it that fast, so uh, it would be useful to be able to just drop it off. That being said, realistically speaking. Um, no. I need to stop thinking that I'm uh, wasting resources by deleting them. If I'm producing them faster, then I can just drop them off. There we are. And then delete them. I'm not actually saving anything by, by having this barn there. So this barn can now be moved. I will save the building rather than have to build it again, but I will delete the fruit juice that's in there. There we go. Alright, so this fruit juice can now just be brought down directly via the conveyor. There we are. And uh, we'll pop that there and draw this through. There we are. We're now getting to the point where we no longer need wagons running all over our empire. That should help out a lot. Grain is doing marvelously and is actually future-proofed to the highest tier that a market can reach. Uh, we've got some raw chicken still. We're actually going to delete the raw chicken. Don't need it there. Uh, we're going to delete the sugar, don't, well, no, no, the, the sugar we need, sorry. Uh, we don't need the berries, so we'll delete that. Why are we storing raw chicken in there? Have we still got a, a wagon delivering raw chicken? Please tell me no. No, we're good. <laughs> that was a bit curious. But by the same token, we can actually have these move down. This wagon is just moving things around. In fact, we don't need these wagons at all. We can do a massive cleanup of this area. We do need peeps carrying things, however. That is going to continue to be a necessity, uh, simply because wagons can't mine. Uh, so with that, 
we can go ahead and have this being brought across automatically. Um, have these two being brought out, like so. I prefer to control what is being removed from the barn, rather than have just uh, anything using the uh, the door, because then I can't control how it's going to be removing anything. And that always worries me, because eventually I'll forget, and then it'll, it'll get jammed somehow. So we're going to want grabbers. One for milk, one for cooked chicken. Yeah, I'll take that in. And then this one can be set up for cooked chicken. And we're pretty much good. There we go. Perfect. I could send that down here via conveyor if I really wanted to. And in fact, I don't need these peeps over here either. Uh, this peep can head down here and get rid of the cargo as well on the way, please. There we are. As we can now have conveyors withdraw the the water and then uh, send it to where it needs to go like so and down and down it does do away with something pretty though and there is a quite a large part of me that doesn't like that um sh should i actually have have someone doing a, a simple task for the rest of the rest of their days just because it looks pretty i feel that that is not a very nice thing to have someone do, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway, because it genuinely looks nice. <laughs> yes, yes, I am that person. All right, let's get rid of that out of your inventory, please. There we go. All right, so we've got a couple of uh, odds and sods around. I think we should be fine now with our um, uh, gold coin income. Yeah, we're doing quite nicely at this point. Uh, every tick is going up by uh, near enough 20. All right. That's not too bad. I'm happy with that upgrade. Uh, dairy genuinely could be improved, but uh, that's going to take some time, I think. Uh, that being said, you take two seconds. How long does it take to make this? Uh, two seconds. So actually, yeah, they're basically one for one. Um, the only thing here that is slowing it is my, my uh, well. Hmm. Uh, all right. Nope. No, I still I maintain. I'm not going to change it. I refuse. I like it. Uh, however, I will have a wagon doing it instead, uh, which is a lot faster. And I'll have a wagon doing it on this side as well. I believe that they, they are technically two population per wagon, which does mean that we're wasting a bit of our population there. But overall, I think we're good. Right. OK, let's have a look at our school. What can we research right now? Steam power would be nice, but I think it's going to be have to be machinery so that we can start making uh, some of the... Well, we'd need machinery to make the steam pipes anyway, so... Uh, but there are a lot of things that machinery can make that I am quite interested in having. Right, we no longer need you delivering planks, actually. Uh, so I guess... Deliver them to the main building? Yeah, sure. That wouldn't be a problem. I think I'd like it. Uh, as we're delivering nails, so planks are completely surplus to demand at this point. Uh, how's the barn going? Uh, we are delivering gadgets every now and then? No. Oh, the pusher setup that we had there. Right, okay, we need to... Well, I'm not really sure why that wasn't moving. Huh. Ah, no, the, the pusher was in the correct location. The, uh, the ramp was not, this. it's not the same as a, a archway, in that the ramp does not allow things through. That was a very silly mistake of mine, and has probably been costing us a lot of income for quite some time. Oh, well. There we go. That That's all sorted there now. But uh, if we put the pusher back, then it should uh, fix that problem again. Uh, if we leave that there, then it should be okay. If we have a look at our gizmos, that's doing well. So now we just need the axe, and then we're good. All right, so 
with that, I think we should be able to get the axe set up. I don't think we strictly need a barn for this. So I'm going to move the barn over here for now. Right, we are going to want another forge. Let's go ahead and get you going. And this will make the uh, plates that we need. We will have another crate. Uh, another couple of peeps, honestly, but uh, you're all the way over there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to delete you very temporarily, though. I promise, super temporarily. Uh, and then we'll put you back. Dunk, dunk. We'll probably only need two for the ore here. Uh, at least for the for the time being, we we'll probably only need two. Use a grabber to drive the iron ore into uh, the furnace. Now, we are going to actually need two every four seconds, at least. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. I think we might need at least one more peep. Could you please gather iron and deliver it? As for our forester over on this side, it's not exactly the best position, really. Uh, still, we should be able to build it. I can have a look at the best position and then build up scaffolding to support it. Um, well, we could build it in here, I suppose. Uh, Alright. Let's uh, build up the scaffolding first, though. Uh, I think we're going to need something along these lines. Something like that to support the forest. I'm going to make it out of timber because it's a forest. Uh, there we go. Uh, grab our forest. Oh. Right, so even though I could build up the scaffold to support it, I do need to build the forester on terrain because it is mining, or rather it is gathering. Okay, interesting. Even though it can place down the scaffolding, uh, I, the, that is the game, I can't. It's not, that's not necessarily a problem, though. But we can work through that. I am going to need three... Um, Support or, or four down here, I guess. There we go. Now, I'm not sure that this is going to be able to uh, extract from there, so I may need to have all of these as um, arches instead because that would be getting too high. I think you've only got three tiles to extract out of. Uh, anything more than that, or rather, to, to the fourth tile is the highest layer that you can pull from. Now, we can still use shoots up here with a grabber. There we go. And set this one up to wood. See if it works. There we go. Perfect. Right, so we're producing the plates that we're going to need. Now, we just need a workshop. But, uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll allow them just to build a scaffold there for that. Uh, we're going to want to... Ah, now. This is the thing. We actually do want iron plates. Iron plates are an important resource. So, with that in mind, I am going to give priority to iron plates into a barn rather than into the workshop. And the way I'm going to do that is by having the uh, a pusher directing the iron plates to come in this direction. So we grab logistics. So until this is full of iron plates, we won't actually generate any axes. I almost did it. Almost. Resisted, though. You're proud of me. I'm proud of me. Uh, right, we want iron plates. Uh, sorry, uh, wooden axe. So we're going to need planks as well. Uh, thankfully, we are generating more than enough uh, fuel for our forge. So if we just plonk down a lumber mill just around here. Now, the only issue here is that a lumber mill really is going to use more than one forest's worth of uh, wood. That's going to be a bit of a problem. That being said, how long does it take? It takes eight seconds to make one wood axe and only requires one plank. We may be all right. Ah, of course, we can't use wooden planks for that. There we go. But we can deliver them via wooden planks. Uh, in fact, we would be able to, in this case... Deliver them down a ramp. Not that it's going to make any difference to the speed at this point. 
still, I think it'll be kind of cool to do that. So let's pop that one in there. And there we go. And down we come. And it'll deliver these where it can't feel the forge. And that'll be most of the time. The forge should generally be fairly good. Uh, there we are. So we're going to start stockpiling iron, uh, iron plates. And I think... There we go. The last thing we're going to do in today's episode is upgrade the base. Clonk. There we are. We can now get four more houses and can build the apothecary. And allow us to make medicine. That is actually going to be really really cool uh we're gonna probably start on that just as soon as we're done with uh with uh, machinery but uh, i'm gonna save building the houses and indeed building the apothecary until later we will ultimately need a route to deliver um from the workshop over to the general store we may use conveyors we may use boats that might be an opportunity for us to check out boats especially because now that we're stockpiling plates we can build silos which are Honestly, one of my preferred buffering choices, rather than um, barns, I actually really do like uh, to use silos, at least if it's not something that we're going to need to build um, buildings out of, and we don't need to build buildings out of out of axes. Uh, interestingly, because you would have thought the uh, the trees would need that, uh, the, sorry, the uh, foresters, and I, I'd actually think that would be kind of cool. But uh, that is going to be it from me. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope you enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.